Hi everybody, Greg Dyer here. I wanted to share some ideas with you here in regards to unconditional love. This is something I've been thinking about a lot lately and it's actually going to become the subject of my next book, so in the near future look for that. Anyway, I wanted to talk a bit about this unconditional love thing because part of it actually hit me in the last day or two here in regards to something that I was dealing with. I just moved out of a place that was really, really comfortable. I loved it. It felt, it felt like it was my home. You know, it was a place where I was there to grow. My, you know, my daughter and I shared it. It was a place for us to just kind of become who we are as a father and a daughter and, and our relationship there. So it was a really, really wonderful place. In the last six months of being there, I had a, an amazing, wonderful woman that's coming, you know, come into my life and start sharing the space with me, you know, an awful lot of time. And, and we got to create moments there, you know, and in how we were moving forward in the progression of, of our relationship, which eventually led to this point where I moved in with her in her house and let go of this, this townhome that I had. Well, this whole concept of unconditional love hit me, and, and, and part of it was that, that sense of the attachment to the things that we love and how that creates this sense of suffering and whatnot when we lose those things, when they change. And it's an inevitability that these things are going to change. They're going to move on. They're going, you know, people are going to leave our lives. They're going to come into our lives. They're going to change the way they, you know, interact with us in our lives. And same with us. We're going to change. Our jobs are going to change. It's an inevitability. Unconditional love. This is this place that we get to, to love what we have in our lives, the things that we have in our lives, the people that are in our lives without the attachment to that love, the need to feel like it's going to be there the rest of our lives, just only in this particular moment and how it shows up in this moment. So how do you do that, Greg? How do we create our lives in this sense without the attachment to the things that we, that we like? Well, here's what I'm gonna give you. One of the things to think about is you are a being right now in this moment. You do not belong to the past and you certainly do not belong to the future. So all of the stuff that's on either side of this moment, you can choose whether or not you want it to influence what's going on in this moment. And this is where the attachment part comes into. When you settle into this moment and realize you belong right here and everything that you require in your life to be in this moment is right here in this moment for you. That's when you can begin to let go of that attachment to how things are going to show up for you. Well, Greg, how do we do this whole thing with, without any kind of expectations and stuff like that? Don't we create our lives and how do we get anything done if we're not expecting things to show up a certain way? Well, that's another little one here that kind of hangs us up, you know, that expectation thing. It is most certainly a place that can create an awful lot of suffering when we get stuck in that expectation place. Well, once again, let's come back to this moment, where we are right now and what's going on in this moment and how did you get here and all that stuff. It's set up perfectly for you to be in this moment. What if you stepped away from the expectations of things to show up that certain way, that little narrow little way, and broaden your perspectives to see how else things might be coming into your world? Because it might be showing up in a way that you're not expecting. And it may show up more wonderful than or better for you than maybe the way you were expecting it, but you were looking for a certain little spot, a little, little sliver of how it has to show up, and it didn't show up that way. So you didn't see all the other possibilities. So you now have gotten to a place where the expectation of something has created a lack in your life. The next thing you know, we are not being unconditional. We're being very conditional. It has to show up this way. Otherwise, I don't love it. Look, it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to like what's going on, but the thing is, is when you let go of that expectation, when you let go of the attachments to how things are showing up, you get this space to see everything, all the possibilities, and how wonderful life now becomes. And the suffering begins to drop away for you when you begin to go, huh, this is pretty cool life. All right, you guys. Uh, I will continue on this, this vein because there's a whole lot to jump into about this unconditional love thing that's all of a sudden flooding my brain. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. I'll show some more next time. I am Greg Dyer. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.